Hi everyone and welcome to another Tech It or Leave It tutorial with me James. Today is part 4 of my coding mini series and this video is going to be doing a step by step installation of the Pulsar add-on into Kodi. This is one of the best add-ons available for Kodi and is a must for anyone interested in films or TV. Now I don't have this installed in my Kodi yet so we're going to be installing this together throughout this video. However, I just want to point out that this video is only going to be for reference and educational purposes only. First of all, you will need to go to the links that I've provided for you in the description below. These are called Pulsar and Repo. These will basically take you through to the two web pages where we're going to be downloading the zip files that we're going to need today. First, download the Pulsar zip file named plugin.video.pulsar. 0.4.7.zip Now this should be downloaded to your default download directory. Now whilst this is downloading we can actually go on to the second link. Now make sure you're paying attention as a lot of people go wrong here and they end up downloading the wrong repository as we're using Kodi 15.0 otherwise known as Isengard we want to download the file named repository Dot pulsar unofficial mirror hyphen one dot zero dot zero dot zip. If you don't download this for Kodi 15 or above, then Pulsar will not work for you. Now we've downloaded these files, we can move on to phase two, which is the installation. In this phase, we will install the zip file and enable the add on. In Kodi, you will need to go to System, Add-ons, Install from zip file, then navigate to your download folder and select the Pulsar plugin that you downloaded earlier, so that's going to be called plugin.video.pulsar-0.4.7.zip. When you've clicked, you should see in the bottom right corner a pop-up that says it's been enabled. Now from here you'll want to go back to install from zip file because we're going to be installing the unofficial repository that we downloaded earlier as well. So after clicking on install from zip file you then want to navigate to where you downloaded the file beforehand which should have been the default download directory and you want the repository pulsar unofficial mirror 1.0.0.zip. Now this will take a few seconds to install but once that's been done that's the add-on and the repository, so the next step is going to be installing the program add-ons. The third phase is installing the program add-ons for Pulsar. These essentially will be the websites that you'll be pulling films and TV shows from that you want to watch. So in essence, these will be your databases that will be used for streaming films and TV. To start, return to the main menu and then go to System, Settings, Install from Repository, then choose Pulsar Unofficial Repo Mirror, Program Add-ons, and from here you can select which add-ons you want to use. Now at this point I'd like to remind you guys that this is just for reference purposes only. I do not personally use these types of add-ons as I have my own media stored on a local storage device. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to map an NFS drive from a storage device, so that will basically come across into Kodi and it will allow you to access all of your locally stored media. So the program add-on that I'm going to be installing as a demonstration on this particular video is the Pulsar EZ TV provider. Now this is one of the MC providers which is strongly recommended. Now the EZTV provider doesn't require any type of membership, you don't need to sign up to anything or have an account on our website. And this should also cover most of the TV shows very well for you as it covers most of the popular TV shows from the US and the UK. Now there are loads of other different providers available including different languages that you can actually select but for this video I'm just using this 
So to actually install the provider you want, so in this case the EZ TV, all you need to do is click onto it and the installation will begin. So now that's been installed, we can now move on. Now that the installation of Pulsar and the program add-ons are complete, there is one final step which is to change part of the system configuration. A lot of people appear to encounter a lot of issues around this particular stage because some of the videos on YouTube don't include this. Some of the blogs that I've read do not include this. But this is a must step, otherwise if it's not done, Pulsar won't work. So what we need to do is go to System, Services, Remote Control, Enable both of the remote control settings. Now one or even both may be enabled. If they're both enabled, brilliant. If not, just make sure both of them have been enabled. So now that's done, there's one final step, which is going to be restarting Kodi so that the remote control settings can take effect. So now it's been restarted. We then want to go to video, but before selecting video, we want to choose the sub menu below and select add-ons. Now from the next menu we want to select Pulsar and then from here we can actually select what we want to start watching as you can see in the video here. So that's it for today's tutorial, that's covered basically installing Pulsar, doing the configuration and adding a program add-on. If you do actually want to add more from the repository then feel free to. A word of warning. Now, some people have actually been having problems when they've been trying to use the Yiffy or YIFY provider. Now, one thing to note that, that that particular provider does not actually work in this current version of Pulsar. The only Pulsar version it supports is 0.3.1 and we're using the latest version of Pulsar which is 0.6.1. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, any questions please drop a comment below, if you're having any problems let me know and I'll try to help you out where I can, otherwise please like and subscribe until uh, we go into the next episode where we'll be looking at the NFS drive from a local storage device. Thanks for watching.